Hey guys, it's Fonsky here, and today we're back in Euro Truck Sim 2 because update 1.14 has just come out. Uh, literally the day after I made a video in which I talked about why I hadn't updated to the beta, <laughs> so that's pretty cool. So I'm playing on my, uh, you can see how much money I've got, I'm playing on my cheated save game because um, I'm not using any mods or anything like that, so I'm not using my main profile. But let's take a look at all the stuff we've got. So the big thing in this update is the DAF XF Euro 6, so let's have a look at that. Um, I'd imagine most of the customization is the same as what you would get on any other regular truck, so I'm not going to go too in depth in this, but let's just check it out. So that's that's all pretty good. Let's go with this one. Looks it looks nice. The model looks pretty good, as you'd expect, really. Now, the other thing we've got is these tag lift axles. You, you can see this here. You see this has a uh, a wheel lifted up at the back. So you got different types mid lift or tag lift and the way these are going to work is um, I believe it's kind of the first stage in a tire wear system um, and so the way it works in real life is that when you're not using these tires you lift them up so that they're not rolling on the ground because tires truck tires are expensive right like they're crazy expensive and the amount of kilometers that trucks use they go through so many tires so um, although they generally use retreads but that's anyway um, so this is it's all about tire wear and saving tyres. At the moment I don't think it's that useful, um, but in the future it probably will be, hopefully. So I think I'll go tag lift. I believe this is how they use them in Europe. Um, I don't really see them that much in Australia, but we'll go tag lift for that anyway. I'm kind of rambling on here. Uh, what about engines? Let's chuck the biggest one on there. Transmissions, retarder. Interior. Immediately I can see why so many people have already released mods fixing the interior of this truck. Um, that wood trim isn't fantastic. Uh, I, I mean, I don't really like wood grain interiors, whether on on like anything. Um, I guess I'll have to download some mods for that, but I'll deal with it <laughs> for the video. Um, ultramarine blue, hell yes, for the Emperor. Uh, okay, the rest of this stuff is all pretty normal. Uh, what are we going to put on here? Let's chuck a Ranger, Titan, stock. Let's go with Ranger. Why not? Uh, okay. And let's chuck a bull bar on it. I'll go with... Does the Viking look good? Yes. The Viking always looks good. Alright. Well, meh, maybe not that one. No. Yeah. Okay. And I'll put some lights on the bottom just to be fancy. Light chrome, light chrome, light chrome. 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 Um, does it have side skirts or exhausts or anything like that? Can't see them. Alright, well, that'll do. It's, um... Yeah, that's everything. That's fine. Okay, confirm. Cool. Uh, let's trade in this, whatever I've got. There we go. I'll quickly go over to the... Actually, before I do that, let's turn on the engine and we'll listen. And I'll stop talking. That's not bad. It's a different startup sound. Alright. Um, I think my sound... Oh my god, that rain is loud. I think the sound is a lot quieter on my... Um, on this save or something. So I can't quite hear it as well. It's not a bad engine noise. Um, let me just see if I can get rid of this rain. This is real pain in the ass. Alright, hopefully that rain will clear up now that I turned down the rain probability. Um, let's take a look in the paint shop. Let's see if anything amazing is here. Got the original... Ooh, hello. Didn't expect that. Interesting. And then the rest of them look like all the standard DLC ones. And a couple of the original ones. Um... Yeah, okay. Well, I guess I'll stick with this original one. I can actually change it around a little bit too. Ooh, it's a metallic one by the looks of it. Alright. Um, so, Ultramarine Blue has to go away for the time being, but um, we'll come back to that. It'll be a Space Marine later. Alright. Cool. So, how do these liftable axles actually work? 
Basically, you press the U key, you get an air noise, and up it goes. Presumably it affects the physics. You see the wheels not spinning or anything like that? So it might actually affect the turning circle as well, um, by not having that wheel up there. You can actually drive while it's going up and down by the looks of it. So let's try turning. So I guess you could probably use it to give yourself a tighter turning circle as well. That's how it's feeling at the moment. Okay, well that's cool. Um, let's go do a short drive. And I'll have a look at the with this with all the lights on as well. Yeah, that's not a bad looking truck. Um, let me put my stuff on. Sure. That's not a bad looking truck. The display is all pretty useful. Uh, it looks pretty good. What happens when I press I? That's interesting. That looks like that's air pressure. Pretty cool. So yeah, it's um, it's pretty useful. The display and everything. So let's get a job, and it's just going to be a really short job, if I can find a really short one. I don't even know where I am. Amsterdam. What's the shortest job we've got? To Felixstowe, 191 kilometers. Okay, let's do that. And we will drive on, and I have to turn around. Okay. It's got a nice sounding engine actually, it's um... I mean, to be fair, I haven't driven a DAF for um, a very long time in this game. So, I may actually not be a... Uh, it may just be a normal one that I'm not even realising. But it sounds pretty good actually. It's got a bit of turbo whistle and everything. Okay, what am I carrying? 22 tonnes of dry milk. Lovely. So we've got a few other changes as well, um, for, and I'll actually have a look at this, on this delivery. But um, by the looks of it, there are now increased penalties and increased damages f for the trucks. So if I damage this load up in, during this delivery, I should get significantly less reward, basically. So that should be interesting. Oh, it's pulling this pretty easily, although to be fair it's only 22 tons. Alright, so we're heading to the ferry. And I guess I'll just run into somebody. Oh, I want to try and damage the track. Actually, I'll run into somebody when I'm closer to the uh, stopping point. Because I don't want to have to drive halfway there with a broken engine or something. I just noticed this has three wiper blades. Oh, there you go. Mirrors and everything as you'd expect from a vanilla truck, to be honest. Nothing uh, out of the ordinary there. So, what else can I do? I'm trying to look over to my uh, second screen without moving track uh, around too much. So apparently if you, if you roll your truck, you're going to take more damage. Kind of makes sense, I guess. I mean, I've been in situations with some modded trucks where I've rolled it and uh, <laughs> basically nothing's happened. I mean, to be fair, part of that's probably because of the mods, like, a lot of modded trucks seem to be a lot tougher than vanilla trucks, for whatever reason. But, yeah, so you should see if you're driving like crazy, and you, um, roll over, I guess, you'll find yourself getting a bit more damage. So, you can see as well, the, uh, if you look in this GPS, you see that circle? That's actually the speed limit. Um, it does show it on the in-game GPS now. Now, that's kind of a good idea, but it's also almost completely useless. Like, I cannot read what that says. Um, it's just too small. Like, you know, it's, it's just 
it is too small. Um, maybe somebody with like eyes like an eagle or something <laughs> should read that. But I think for the average person, they're not really going to get any use out of that. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's just me, and maybe I'm completely blind, uh, and everybody else can see it perfectly. But I think that's just too small to be useful, to be honest. So, yeah, I don't know. It's 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 a nice enough touch, I guess, but um, I don't think it'll really get used, if I'm honest. So what else we got? I've spoken before about how a bunch of mods are broken uh, at the moment. That's because the map has been changed, I guess, and it looks like they've changed other stuff with modding as well. So, um, take a bit of time for that stuff to get fixed up. But I guess now that the now that the mod is actually released and it's out of beta, the mod makers can actually get started. Like they can get cracking on um, fixing stuff up. Because I mean, I, I understand why you wouldn't want to do it while it's in beta, because they keep making changes, and then you might have you know you might have changed your mod to do one thing. And then SCS changes something else in the beta, and suddenly that that fix you made doesn't work anymore. So, it, you know, it makes sense to not really support the mods throughout the beta process and wait until the game's released, uh, until the uh, until the patch is released, I should say. And finally, the weather has cleared, the sun is out. So what else? Apparently, in Steam now, it will show uh, what you're doing to your friends. Let me actually bring up my let me bring up my steam overlay and is that useful no it's the opposite of useful okay well never mind um but apparently what it does is when your friends see that you're playing euro truck or something it will like show the job you're doing as well which is kind of interesting i didn't even know you could do that on steam to be honest but um that's pretty cool so we're turning right up ahead so, I mean, it's only really going to be of any use to you if you've got a bunch of friends playing Euro Truck, I guess. Um, but, who knows, maybe they can... Maybe the uh, people doing multiplayer will be able to integrate that or something. I don't know. It could be useful. So that's pretty cool. Um, screenshots, like, you can actually... With, with the whole World of Trucks website, you can take a screenshot in-game, upload it to World of Trucks, and set that as being your current truck or something so like I could take a screenshot of this and then if I did everything properly on my world of trucks profile it would say that this is my current truck um, and I guess maybe even how much you've driven it or something like that I'm not 100% sure but that's useful so yeah it's all it's all pretty good um, what else apparently the truck browser has been updated to show all the um, all the varying parts and costs and level requirements that you can get, which is nice to see. And I'm gonna have to get in here. Come on. There we go. Should be getting close to the ferry now. Yeah, looks like we are. I'll try as nice with this truck. Um, it's going pretty good. Should be able to turn my headlights off as well. There we go. Once I'm in the UK, I'll actually get some. Uh, I go into the outside view and we can see what it looks like just rolling. Have to remember to drive on the other side of the road too. Yeah, it's not a bad sounding engine. Um, it's pretty nice actually. Well, it's got the turbo whistle, but it's not too much. It's, the problem that you get with a lot of modded trucks when they do the turbo whistle is that it goes a bit too far, and um, it actually starts like hurting your ears <laughs> um, because obviously you hear it a lot, right? Like the turbo whistle is always whistling when you're accelerating, and if you're like me, you got a heavy foot, you're always accelerating. Alright, where am I going? Um, there, I guess. So one interesting thing as well is that the screenshots SCS has done f uh, for, for showing off this latest update were actually all taken with their Going North expansion 
or whatever they call it. I don't know if they're actually going to call it going north. Um, but yeah, so that must be getting close. That expansion must be getting close, basically. I mean, they've been showing it off for a while. They've been working on it for longer than that. Um, but if they're using it for that sort of thing, then that's going to be pretty cool. Apparently it's also got like a new day-night cycle or something. Uh, there should be a lot of cool stuff coming with that. So that'll be good to see. No idea how it's going to work with ProMod, if it's going to work with ProMod. Um, hopefully it will. I'm sure they'll find some way of making it work. Although what that will be, I have no idea. But let's carry on, and I'm going to have to find a way to damage my truck. Maybe even to roll it over, although... The problem with rolling it over is if I can't get back on my wheels, um, then I'll have to do a quick travel thing, I guess. But I'll be able to find a car to run into. That'll be easy enough. This guy up ahead, is he... if he's going straight ahead... Aha! You are mine. Alright, let's, um, let's try and whip him with the trailer, if I can catch up. It's sometimes difficult to catch up to the AI in this game. Anybody coming ahead? I don't really want to go head first into somebody. Alright, let's just smack him with, uh, with the trailer a bit. Come on. This video has suddenly taken a sinister turn. <laughs> God damn it, why can't I catch up to you? Because I'm redlining. That's why. I need to shift up. God damn it, he's getting away. Bastard. All I want to do is hit you with my trailer. So I can see how the damage affects things now. I mean, it's only the, um, the income from jobs that you'll receive, but I mean... You, the, even delivering a 100% damaged trailer, you lose so little money. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. So this is actually a good change. Um, can I hit him with the trailer? Well, I think I hit him with the front. Did it damage the... Did it damage anything? No. Got stupid tough trucks. This is going to be more difficult than I thought. Anybody behind me? I'm actually going to leave the uh, damage display up. Maybe I can just kind of do a bit of this, a bit of these. I'll be able to roll the truck if I do this, actually. Mm. See, the problem is the trailer doesn't slide around behind you. If it did, I'd actually be able to smack it into the uh, guardrails. Maybe I should just try rolling the truck. Uh, how far away am I from? Am I going to Felixstowe? I think I am. Uh, I'll make it happen. We will see damage. It's guaranteed. Let's just not slow down. Oop. Okay, 3% damage. 5%. I'm not seeing the, um... The massive amounts of damage they're talking about for rolling over. But... Okay. Let's reset the truck, if I can. Good. Oh, yeah. My fly speed is so slow right now. Um, I should be able to just drop it right here, though. That'll be fine. Okay. That is a pretty cool startup sound. And except I didn't have the clutch pushed in, I don't think. Alright. Well, we've only got 2% damage. That's just not enough. We need to get more. Fortunately, there's no traffic around. I could just drop the truck, actually. I should have thought of that. That'd be a good idea. Just drop it from a significant height. Although, I still need to be able to have it in a condition where I can deliver it. So... Hmm. How, far, how much further do I have? Uh, 47 kilometers. That's only a couple of minutes. I think. Ooh, swimming in success. Apparently I just got s and another achievement. As soon as I switched over to this cheated profile, I haven't used this profile since the Steam achievements came in, so as soon as I switched over to it, I just got like a million achievements for, um, <laughs> for like, done having done huge distances and all that shit. So I guess if you want to get Steam achievements, that's one way of doing it. Just use a, uh, use a profile that has all your stuff cheated on it. And immediate success will be had. And there's no cars, they all know that I'm coming to run into them, and they will hidden themselves away. Which is annoying. 
Well, I guess I will just drop the truck from a height then. I guess that'll work. And I'll do that just um, just at the delivery point so that I can trade it in easily. How much money am I supposed to get for this? 11,000. Okay. Oh, we'll see how much I actually take in terms of costs. Take this turn down here. The engine brake uh, noise is unchanged, by the way. I don't think anybody expected it to change that. So that's alright. Oh, it's tipping. There we go. Any more damage to the trailer? No. Okay. Oh, I really need to set. Uh, what's the command? G underscore set fly speed. Shut up. Oh. Right. God damn it. Alright, that's not working. Well, that didn't work. But it's more damage. Damage is good. We want damage. Stop it. I'm not sure if there's going to be enough damage, it probably won't be. You know what I could do? I could reverse into this car behind me. It sounded like somebody buzzing my door as well. Which happens from time to time. Let's just ignore that and see if they buzz it again. Probably somebody locked themselves out. Okay. So, if I can catch up to this truck in front, then I'll just sideswipe him. And that should do a bit of damage to the trailer. Is that somebody passing? Ah, oh, too slow. Too slow. Alright, here we go, here we go. Going for it. Yes. Ah, oh, only 3%. Why is it so hard to damage the trailer? Come on, I do this all the time without even thinking about it. I guess. Oop. That's not quite what I intended, but it also works. There's the damage. Oh yes, there's the damage. That's what we want. That's how we should have been doing it. Going the wrong way. Um, it's still only 6% of the trailer. But we should be able to... Can I, can I crash through here? A bit more damage. Oh, there goes the engine. Um, go around the roundabout the wrong way. Oh, straight into a car. There he is. Oh, yes. Yes, there's the damage. That's what I want. Okay, 10% trailer damage. The truck is still going somehow. I'm not sure how much... Uh, how much financial cost 10% damage is going to um, kind of convert into, but we'll see. I'm surprised the truck is still running actually. It would normally have uh, have have had engine failures by now. What's probably going to happen is the engine will start failing um, as I'm reversing into the spot. Which will then make it a massive pain to actually complete the delivery. But We'll do the best we can. Alright. Pretty easy reverse this one. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's a shame that it's night time, actually. Um, but let's deliver that. Loud. So, what did I, how much did I lose? Oof! $5,000 damage penalty. That was 10% damage. Jeez, that is a significant amount. Um, I mean, that was only a $11,000 delivery. So, 
that's actually, that's a lot of money. Um, yeah, you can see it right here, damage penalty, 11%. Jeez, so I guess, I wonder if they'll even make it so you have to pay them if you get like 100% damage on the trailer or something. I don't know. Um, but that means, if it's if it scales the way I think it would, that would mean like 20% damage would have been the entire job, basically. Um, that's interesting. That's really interesting. So that's going to add a whole other level of challenge. If you're somebody who's used to being able to take risks and it doesn't really matter if the cargo is delivered, um, this is going to affect you. And I think that's actually really cool. I like that. Um, we're going to have to be a bit more careful with our deliveries now, by the looks of it. That's um, that's interesting. All right, let's continue. And there's one more thing I'll show you before I end this. So, sounds like something's breaking when that turns off. <laughs> um, so if you've seen the go to command, uh, which basically I think that came in in what was it, 1.11, 1.12? I can't remember. But it lets you, um, you type in, you go into the console, which you have to have activated by going, like, changing uh, config files or something. But you go into the console, you type go to, and then you type the city name. So say I went to go to Rocklaw, and now I am in, now I'm here. So then I would just um, move down to the ground and drop the truck. Or I could actually drop it from up here. See you, truck. Bye! Um, <laughs> yeah, I can't, um, <laughs> oops. Uh, okay, so that's how it used to work, and well, obviously that's how it still works. But you no longer have to type in the full city name. So say I wanted to go up to, where's somewhere with a long ass name? Uh, let's do this one, this Polish one. So if I just type SZCZ, and I type go to in front of that, S. Z, C, Z. So now it's actually taken me there. So you can see uh, on the map, if I bring that up, you can see I'm, well, the truck is still in down there, but if I drop the truck from here. God, the poor, the poor DAF, not having a good day. You can see we're now up here. So you no longer have to type in the full city name, basically. Now that is really useful if you've got a city name with special characters or something like that. I believe that pretty much everything in the vanilla game does not have special characters, but uh, ProMod, TSM, and I think some of the others, they do have special characters. And I think that the console can't actually handle that sometimes. So, basically you can now go to any city just, just by typing in the first couple letters of its name. Unless, I guess, um, you, hmm, what are some that you might not be able to do? You probably wouldn't be able to say, say Verona and Venezia. Um, you probably you'd have to do like V E R. You wouldn't just be able to do V E because I guess it would probably get confused between them. Um, but you know you'll work that out if you do this. I mean this isn't useful for most people anyway, unless you um, you're just kind of cheating your way around. But it's a pretty cool little touch. But yeah, so I think I'll probably end that here. Um, so this is a pretty cool update. It's got some it's got some decent stuff. Obviously the DAF is the big change. The axles are the next big change. Um, but I wasn't expecting the penalties for the cargo to be so high. Uh, that's that's interesting, and we'll have to see how that goes, I think. But yeah, so until next time, I've been Vonsko, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.